My name is Katherine Graham, and I was born on the 16th day of June in 1917. My father, Eugene Meyer, bought the Washington Post in 1933. After I graduated college with a degree in journalism, I went to work with my father and joined the editorial staff. I married Philip Graham in 1940, and after he served in World War II, he became an associate publisher for the Washington Post. My husband and father worked together and bought at our competitors, the Washington Times Herald and Newsweek. After the death of my father and husband, I took over the company. I became the first ever woman CEO of a Fortune 500 company. I was determined to publish accurate news and even visited army bases during the Vietnam War. I challenged the constitutional rights of freedom of speech and published the Pentagon Papers. Probably the most memorable case of mine was reporting about the Watergate incident, which led to the resignation of President Nixon. At the age of 62, I gave my son Donald the role of chief executive officer. For 16 years, I led the Washington Post to the best of my ability and did not let the fact that I was a female discourage me. I believe the thing women must do to rise to power is to redefine their femininity. Once, power was a masculine attribute. In fact, power has no sex. Mm -hmm.